Okay, what's up? So this is a new camera I'm trying out. I'm not sure what the quality is going to be like. Um, first day of VidCon was awesome. I got up a little late, so I missed the arena stage, which sucks. But I'll be there for, t for that tomorrow. Lindsay Sterling's performing, and I ran into her. Awesome! Um, anyway, I'll include one of include, include one of her links in the doobly-doo. Uh, she's a fantastic performer, violin player, and dancer. Who knew? Anyway, um, one of the panels I went to today was, well, the first one, was with Felicia Day and Will Wheaton. Hysterical, guys. And, uh, I actually, I was in, like, the third row or something like that, and Felicia Day was standing here, and I was like, man, she has a fantastic butt. And she kind of turned around, and I was like, you have a fantastic butt. She's like, yeah, Dragon Age was better. It's a little saggy right now. I was like, this moment is my life. Yeah, and when I was standing in line for registration, Michael Ronda just walked by like it was nothing, and I'm like, uh, hello, I want to jump your bones right now, but I can't. He has no idea. Sad. Michael Aranda. Anyway, moving on. Second panel was with uh, Smorgasbord of Fellows, which I don't remember the name of, except for Ryan Vance, who is awesome. You should look him up. And they had a stand-in, uh, and I recognized this guy. I was like, why do I know his face and his voice is so familiar? He was one of the anchors for uh, Attack of the Show, I believe. Uh, his name, Kevin Pr something. I would butcher the, butcher the pronunciation if I tried to pronounce it. But I talked to him, and I talked to Ryan, and it was just awesome. There was another guy there, Adam something, Adam Sessler, I think it was his name. And when I told him that I'd never heard of him before, he got rather miffed. But that's his problem. Um, granted, I'm, I'm looking him up now, but it's... Whatever, I know, foot in my mouth. I got it, I'm working on it. Uh, anyway, um, then I went to the this panel basically because Philip DeFranco was on it, but it, I got something out of it. You know, I made some friends. Um, yeah, I met these girls from Sweden, all the way from Sweden. Oh yeah, and then when I was also in line for registration, there was this woman who's fabulous. She's very nice, but her dress was just a little too revealing, and so I just got nipple, just all nipple, multiple times, and I just I didn't know what to do about about the nipple. So yeah. Uh, pretty eventful. I also sang on this thing and they gave me a hat and stuff and people were awesome about it and it's kind of cool. So that was a thing. Um, I also ran to Corey What's-His-Face, the guy from Star Wars. I'll include... I keep making that mistake, my goodness. I'll include that in the doobly-doo as well. Um, there's wristbands. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of swag, dude. Like, this chair has rolls. It has... that's terrible. It has wheels, but it doesn't work very well on carpet. This was in the swag bag, and I'm like, are you trying to say something, VidCon? I mean, I guess, well, I guess they just want you to have proper tongue, tongue health and, and breath well-being. So, anyway, um, I also bought a microphone. That's exciting, so I can do voiceovers and shit. Um, yeah, so change is, change is really coming, and I've figured out that vlogging is not as bad. Yeah, oh. I walked by, there was a huge crowd, like, around Jenna Marbles, and she just looked so unhappy. And I'm like, I wish I could like her, but I don't. Because I feel like vloggers can't just put their opinion out there. They have to provide something outside of themselves. You know, and that's what Philip DeFranco does every day. And that's why he is more of a role model for me than anyone else on YouTube. Even John and Hank who I love and will always be a, you know, what's the word? Not proprietor, perpetuator, that'll suffice. Perpetuator of, son, proponent, proponent. There you go, that's the word I was looking for, P, PR stuff. Anyway, um, tomorrow is gonna be great too. Uh, I'm meeting Philip DeFranco for reals. He's gonna sign something, but I haven't decided what. I'm not big on the whole signing thing. I'd rather just get a picture, but that's not gonna happen either. Um, the Evan Mealtime guys are going to be there. We're going to try to get get in with them. I met the people from Black Box uh, Productions. I'll include a, include a link in the doobly-doo for that as well. Um, I've got my announcing voice on. Don't you like it? It's so deep. Um, <laughs> and I've also realized that I am very similar to Robert Shabatsky. I use um quite frequently. At least it's not but um. Don't make a drinking game out of it, okay? All right, cool. And if you notice, I have a little tan. I was totally sunburned. This is, that's real. Yeah, but anyway. Um, but, um, God, it's killing me inside, everybody. And I was making people laugh, it was awesome. But then I met this one girl who's Tumblr famous. She's one of, friends, one of the friends of like Bondle Swain. 
and all those kids and and she had the hair she had the look her attitude was just bad and she's like everything I said was just like not worth her time and I didn't even realize who I was talking to which was probably the reason why she acted that way but I can't help it you know I've done what I can I am who I am and that's what I'm working on so with that I will conclude the video and hope that everything is well in your corner of the universe and I will see you guys tomorrow maybe hopefully we'll see what happens peace out